Today I'm going to be explaining how you can get infinite banana bucks in Big Scary. You probably clicked on this video because you want more banana bucks in this game. You can actually get so many of these. I, here, follow me monkeys. That was a nightmare song. Bruh. So I actually have two hats that I still haven't got yet, but I can get them within like 15 minutes must like and subscribe and let's hop right into the tutorial you probably know how to get money in this game which is running around and hoping for the best which uh works <laughs> here is a banana buck right now boom now the way i do this is i go to the levels that i found that have like the money most often so you'll spawn in come down here Skip this first left turn, come to the second left turn, and then that's where the money is. Then what you want to do is you want to come back here to level 2, go there, and then see if there's money right here, which there is for me. So just straight to this left spot. If you don't see it, it's not here. Also, there, I'm, not, I'm not sure if there's a bug, but there's always like two things. One of them you can't touch and you can't get, but the other one you can, and then they go down together. I don't know what that is, but whatever. 16 banana bucks now uh hello sir also sometimes there can be like another money over in this area which i found looks like i do not have it this round now we go to level three money can spawn down the end of the hallway you can just see it right when you spawn in if it is not there if there's no money down there you can just immediately leave so essentially just spawn in see it or not then leave then we go to level four run down the incorrect one so it doesn't matter yes or no and then if you see money up on top yellow slide come and get it i don't have any this round and sometimes there can be money down below if it's there go get it now we're gonna skip five and six because i seriously have never seen money either if you do see money like say in five i actually have seen money i think it's not worth it in five it takes too long and it's too spooky and six, I just don't see money, so I don't know. If you know a spot that it spawns, you can get it. Now, number seven. You want to come up here to the very top. Sometimes there will be money here. Also, I'm not sure, but if you know this secret place, there will be money down there. Now, for some reason, I never do. I just never have it, so I don't really check. If you do see money down there, you can go down there as well. We're gonna go to eight. Eight will have money up on here. If you don't see it from the beginning, you can just leave with a level nine. For level nine, you're just gonna collect the money if it's right in front of you. If it's not here, you can just leave. And that is my path. We go to level one, see if it's there. Two, three, four, and seven, eight, and nine. If you do see money in like five and six or 10, 11, 12, you can go to those spots. I think it slows down because I haven't seen money there, or it's just in a hard, farther spot to get. Now that you've collected all of your money, you wanna quit the game, and then do it again, and again, and again, and again. Now, doing this respawns your money each time. Now, leaving the code that you're in does not do this. You have to leave the game completely. Once you leave the game, the money regenerates in random places again. That's why you go in this pattern. Now, if you do this over again, you have the greatest chance of getting the most money possible. Thank you, Monkers, for watching, and I'll see you, Monkers, in the next one. You must like and subscribe, or I'm going to take all your banana bucks, and you can't get any at all. Yes, and boom, we just got every single hat. That's crazy. Thank you, Monkers, for watching.